<laughs> right, we're going to start stood up today. <coughs> so, very gentle class today, lots of breathing with a little bit of gentle movement, but we'll start just by arriving on our mat. So, just gently close your eyes and just take your awareness to your feet beneath you. Notice where your weight is positioned over your feet. And have a little rock forwards and backwards and side to side until you find that perfect sweet spot where your body is perfectly balanced over your feet. And then just sense what shape you are making in space today. Notice if the knees are jammed back or whether they're soft or maybe somewhere in between. Notice whether the pelvis is tilted back, tilted forwards or somewhere in between. Notice how the spine feels. Are the shoulders nice and relaxed? Or is there a bit of tension there? Maybe have a couple of rolls through the shoulders and just let the shoulders settle where they're comfortable. How do the arms feel? Can you let them hang by your sides, palms facing forwards? Or do you feel like you need a bit of a wiggle and a jiggle before you can get into that shape? And then take the awareness further up the body still, into the neck. And just notice how the neck feels. Now your attention is there, does it make you want to have a wiggle and a roll of the neck? Is there any tension that needs to just be eased out? And then take that awareness up to the head. Just recognising how busy the brain is. There's no right or wrong. Sometimes our brains are really busy, sometimes they can settle in the here and now, and sometimes they're somewhere in between. We're simply taking a moment to notice where we're at in this moment. And then we'll just take a few slow breaths, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're breathing in for six and out for six. So inhaling, two, three, four, five, six. Exhaling, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, five, six. Out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, five, six. Out, five, four, three, two, one. One, in, out, in, out, in. in, out, in, out, in, And then gently flutter the eyes open and we'll do some block breath. So moving four counts on the inhale, holding for four, exhaling for four, and then holding for four. So inhaling as the arms come up in front of the body for a count of four. Hold at the top, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. 
in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, hold, out, hold, 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 last one, in, hold, out, hold, excellent. So we've got a little bit of a theme today of moving the spine in six directions. So we're gonna do that with the breath as well. So the first one is gonna be a little back bend with a little forward bend or a big forward bend. So we're going to use breath of joy for this one and we've done this one before. So we inhale the arms to shoulder height. We inhale the arms out to the side. Then we inhale up and look up for our backward bend, really lifting the chest towards the ceiling. And then we exhale and we round the back forwards. So <clears throat> three short inhales followed by a massive exhale. So get ready. Exhale out any air you have in the body. And then let's begin. Keep it moving. And then make this next round your last one. 
and then just come back to standing. Fab. So the next one's going to be with a twist. So we're inhaling arms up, we exhale, we take one hand behind us, the other hand in the front. Inhaling back to middle, we then exhale the other side, one hand goes back, one hand comes to the front. Trying to keep the hips facing forward as much as we possibly can on this one. So first of all, really ground down through the feet, a little bit of a soft bend in the knees, and then inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist the other way. Again, aiming for a count of six on the breaths. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. 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 In. Twist. In. Twist. In. Twist. In. Twist. In. Twist. In. Twist. side in twist in and twist good then coming back to center so this time we'll take both our arms up above the head to start with take a nice big inhale here and then exhale drop the left hand down and reach over towards the left Inhale, back up through center. And then exhale, drop the right hand down and reach the, the over to the right. So inhale up, exhale over. Inhale up, exhale over. In, out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. stretch out around the hips and the lower back. So we're going to take a small step. 
little bit of a bend in the front knee. So first of all, we're just really gonna take our hips forwards, take our shoulders back, tuck our tailbone under. So you should feel some sort of stretch somewhere around the front of the leg or into the hip. So we'll inhale one way, and then we exhale, we bend the knee, and we take the foot up off the floor. So we're stretching out down the back of the opposite leg. So we inhale as we come forwards, tuck the tailbone under, take it back, bend the knee, lift the toes. So inhaling forwards, exhaling back. Inhaling forwards, exhaling back. Inhaling forwards, exhaling back. Inhaling, exhaling. Good. So inhaling, take the shoulders back, tuck that tailbone under. Exhale, take the shoulders forward, stick out the bum. You can play around with your length of step to work out what works best for you. A few more breaths this side. we'll switch to the other side so let the other foot, foot come forwards and take the other foot back then as you inhale bend that front knee tuck that tailbone under to get the stretch down the other leg as you exhale take it back bend the knee lift the foot so inhale it forwards exhale it back inhale it forwards exhale it back you can take a big step here if that feels better for you, or a small step. <laughs> Just keep it moving, inhaling forwards, stretching out on the front of the leg, exhaling back, stretching out the back of the opposite leg. Remember to keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just a few more breaths here. And 
and just come back to your standing position on your mat. So I'm going to do a standing finish today. So just gently close your eyes and take your awareness back into your body. So start by really feeling your feet on the mat. Sway the weight forwards and backwards to find that perfect sweet spot over the feet. Sway the body side to side to find that perfect sweet spot. So your weight is perfectly balanced between your heel and the pads of your toes. Then lift all of the toes up off the mat, really balancing that weight on the triangle of your feet. Really activating the feet, lifting the toes, lifting the arches away from the floor, really pressing down through the heels and through all five pads of the toes. And then let the toes come back down. Or if it felt good, you can keep them raised. And take your awareness to your ankles. Can you stay here really strongly or are your ankles making tiny micro adjustments to keep that weight balanced best over your feet? Can you tense the muscles of your ankles? Then take that awareness up further still to the lower part of the lower leg, the lower part of the shin, the Achilles tendon, just reaching up into your calf. How do those muscles feel? And how do they feel with your toes on the ground versus your toes lifted? And then take your awareness higher still to the whole of the shin bone, the whole of your calf muscles. Are they tense? Are they loose? Are they somewhere in between? And take your awareness up to your knees. Are your knees jammed back? Or are they slightly bent, allowing a bit of bounce in the legs? Are the muscles engaged if you squeezed your kneecaps up towards your thighs? Or are they relaxed? Maybe somewhere in between. And then take that awareness up further still into the thighs. How do the thighs feel after all those breathing movements forwards and back? Are they tense? Are they loose? Are there any sensations to be felt? And then take the awareness around to our hamstrings. Just notice how the backs of the legs are feeling. Then travel on up the body further still through the hip flexors and the glutes into the whole area around your pelvic bone, around your pelvis. What do we have to tense in order to stay standing in this position? And what can we release and soften? <coughs> and then take your awareness up further still to your torso, to the lower belly to your lower back. Do we have any space or are we sinking down into our lower back? Can we lift up out of the waist slightly, even though that's going to take a bit of effort in order to give our lower back a bit of space? And then take the awareness up into your chest and your middle and upper back. How does this part of your torso move as you breathe? Is the breath and the movement fluid or does it get stuck anywhere? 
Can you give yourself more space to breathe by softening anything? And take your awareness to your shoulders. How do they feel? Has the tension in your shoulders changed since the start of class? Is there more space between your shoulders and your ears? And take your awareness to your hands, your fingers. Noticing how they feel. Noticing the temperature of your hands. Notice the wrists, the forearms, your elbows and your upper arms. How do they feel? Are there any sensations to be felt? And take that awareness further up still into the neck. Just noticing how the neck feels. And then finally take the awareness up to the head. Simply having another check in with how busy our mind is. Whether you're in this very moment, whether your brain is trying to distract you to what comes next. Simply making a mental note, seeing if anything has changed since the beginning of class. And then gently drop your left ear towards your left shoulder, stretching out down the right side of the neck. Having a couple of breaths here. And then roll your head around the front of the body until your chin comes to chest. And have a couple of breaths here. And then roll your head around to the right, so the right ear comes towards the right shoulder. And have a couple of breaths here. And then lifting your head back up to centre again. We'll do three breaths together, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Gently flutter your eyes open and your practice for today is done.